you want to go inside, you have here. Yeah. I've got an important guest. Oh! She's sitting right outside the door. She can hear everything, but she don't dare interfere. Let her listen. Let them all listen. Are you yanking my pizzle? I said get out. I'm not going anywhere. I'm here for Adela. For Adela? But I paid for that whore. Don't call her a whore. She fucks for money, you idiot. She is a whore. Now you fucked up. Damn! Ah. Ugh. 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 What in God's name have you done? I... I, I saved you. Oh my God! Henslin will kill me! If Marouche doesn't first! Marouche? The proprietor! Everything will be alright. Henry, if it wasn't for the fact that you saved Hinnick, I'd slap your face! Leave this place. I'll help you. What? Why? What are you on about? You don't have to live in this rat hole anymore. We'll leave together. Who gave you that idea? Johanka. What Johanka are you talking about, for God's sake? She's from Scalitz, like me. Just an innocent girl. They all claim that. But she really is. Well, that is... she was. Ha! So what did she do? Did she go with a man for money too? Only to help others. Oh, I, I bend over backwards here to help others. It was only on account of her that the wounded from Scalitz got to Sassau. Although they didn't have it easy there either. I heard they took them in at the monastery. Aye, but they didn't exactly bend over backwards to help them there. Johanka had to take care of them on her own. Most of them wouldn't have lived without her. And to get some extra supplies for them, she... She succumbed to the custodian there. For them? She had nothing out of it for herself? She only did it for them. My. I don't think I've ever met anyone like that. Look, when I came to see her the first time, after Scalitz, she was destroyed. And they wanted to drive her out of the monastery. She could have just gone. But she didn't want to stop helping the others. But... What's any of that got to do with me? It was Johanka who sent me to you. But I don't even know her. Why would she send you to me? It was a revelation from the Virgin Mary. A revelation? How? The Blessed Virgin started visiting Johanka in her dreams. Visiting? Well, that's how Johanka put it. Like visitations in which she spoke to her. And according to these visitations... She believes she has a duty to save sinners. And you believe in these visitations? Yes. I believe. I... I'd like to believe too. Well, why don't you try it then? How? Like I should just drop everything here, pack my things and go off to see someone I don't even know? Why not? It's madness. It's like... Starting all over from the beginning. And why did you become a... Uh, you know... A... a prostitute? Yeah. If you're expecting to hear some touching tale about a poor girl tossed around by fate, you'll be disappointed. I didn't want a husband and I needed money. So just for money? What do you think I do it for? Love? Have you got a problem with that? No. Everyone has to make a living, but you don't have to be a... a bathmaid. So what else should I do, in your opinion? 
you can just find yourself a different livelihood. Why? What's wrong with the one I have? What about when you get older? Do you think the men will still come to you? That's true, unfortunately. You can't go on like this forever. You could catch some nasty disease. What do you know about such things? I've seen plenty, believe me. Maybe too much. Oh, sorry. I, I try not to think too much about that. Well, maybe you should. The apothecary in Ratai could tell you a lot about the ailments people come to him with. I'm still not sure. But you're a pariah. No one will talk to you. What do I care about anyone else? Let them look out for themselves and I'll do the same. You won't always be able to manage on your own, whether you like it or not. So what? Do you want to end up like Hinek? <sighs> God knows how he'd have ended up if it hadn't been for you. See now? You know, you might be right about some things. So you'll leave it? But how? Where would I go? What would I live on? Wouldn't you like to help in the infirmary at Sasau Monastery? Would they let me? You're a bathmaid who knows something about healing. They'd be glad to have you. But where will I live? Well, there, of course. It's modest, but you'll have everything you need. I'm not used to much anyway. See then? I reckon you've nothing to worry about. All right. Will we go right away? We can go right now. Come on then. All right. I'll just say farewell to the girls and pack a few things. Mother of God, <laughs> I'm all in a flutter. To pack up and go, just like that. You're doing the right thing. You'll see. Take care. I told you I wasn't done with you yet. I'll hang you up by the balls from the nearest tree, and then I'll get what I paid for from that harlot. You can do it. Now, now, 
bring it up. Ah! Oh, fuck! Come here, Enjoy this. Bring it on. Ah! I'll find you. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Is that ah. I'm fine. It's you they were after, mostly. And are you all right? Nah, just a scratch or two. Those idiots didn't know who they were taking on. Good. The sooner we go, the better. I don't want to stay here any longer. Let's go, then. God be with you. Here we are. Give it a while and you'll be happy here. Believe me. Oh, Henry. I'm starting to have a good feeling about this. Maybe I'll really find happiness here. I'm sure you will. Johanka will take care of you. She's very good at that. You know, you're the first one to do something for me. Without expecting anything. And I don't have anything to give you. Unless... If you wanted. For one last time, together. One last time. Why not? God be with you, Henry. I went to Ledetsko like you asked me. And? How did it turn out? You were right. It turned out well with Adela. I persuaded her to leave her... her trade and find a more virtuous job. She's here for you. That's great news. I promised her you take care of her and I brought her here. She'll help you take care of the sick and injured, like you wanted. You did a great job, Henry. Thank you.
Of course I'll take care of her. We can't let her down now. And how are things going here? Hmm. Much the same as always. There are always wounded and sick people. I'm on my feet from morning till night. But Matthias is better. I'm glad about that. There's these troublemakers, though. Troublemakers? Aye. While you were gone, some thugs came here and kicked around the gifts that people brought. Then they vanished before the guards got here. Oh? Who were they? I didn't see them at it, but there's some fellas hanging around now by the entrance to the monastery. Maybe that's them? And whenever I go into town, they take liberties with me. Take liberties how? Did they hurt you? No. They just make all sorts of offensive comments on account of me speaking on the square. And when someone comes to see me, they make trouble for them. So now, almost no one wants to come here. Maybe you could have a word with them? Shouldn't the custodian deal with that? It's his job, right? Well, it is, but I, I don't want to ask him for anything. I don't want to feel obliged to him. I'd rather sort it out without him. Fair enough. God be with you. Honest folks should avoid her like the plague. God be with you, my good man. Don't play games with me. Begging your pardon, but I haven't a clue what you mean. Who sent you here? Sent us? No one but the Holy Spirit and our Christian duty. I see. Well, my Christian duty prompts me to give a bit of coin to those in need. What do you say? Are you in need? Are we agreed? More! Agree? That's not enough. Hmm. Well, thanks for the, uh, arms. Listen, here's how it is. Some of the important citizens here don't care for Johanka talking nonsense about visitations from the Virgin Mary. And there are certain good wives who think she's up to no good. They don't like it that their husbands are hanging around here. And there's talk that she's got something with a custodian and who knows who else. And we're just here to warn decent people about the... Iniquities going on here. Uh-huh. Is that so? Well, now you've warned me, you can clear off. Well, I'm afraid we don't want to do that. Get the hell out of here and leave your hanker and everyone else here in peace. Got it? Ah, we'd love to oblige, but we really don't feel like going anywhere. Sorry. Enough of your nonsense. Clear off, and if I catch you round here again, I'll have you clapped in the pillory. Good sir. Surely you wouldn't pillory simple fellas like us just for wanting to earn a groschen. We'll be on our way, and you'll overlook our little intrusion, all right? Get going, and don't dare come back. Aye, aye. We're going. <laughs> I dealt with those troublemakers. They won't be coming back in a hurry. Thanks, Henry. I thought they'd never go. You didn't say anything about it to the custodian, did you?
Ah, he knows nothing about it. You don't think I need the help of Sir Sebastian to deal with a few thugs, do you? Good. I wouldn't want him to think I'm in distress. Oh? Why is that? Ah, nothing. It's not important. Listen, there's some merchant staying at the Wagoner's Inn who's been asking after me. Would you go with me to see him? I know those thugs are gone and it should be safe now, but... Of course I'll go. It's only a stone's throw after all. Pavel of Colin, I believe you were asking for me? Thank you for coming, Johanka. I hope you're not offended by this meeting place. I apologize, but I feel a little confused in your presence. It's your preaching. In truth, I don't know whether I'm speaking to you or the Virgin Mary. I'm sorry to say, this is just plain old Johanka from Scalitz. Flesh and blood. And this is Henry. He's telling the truth. And sometimes he tells a little more truth than necessary. What is it you wanted to see me about, Pavel? Divine Providence led me back to Sassau after many years, and by the same grace I heard the words you preached. And my eyes were opened. Just as the Blessed Virgin wanted. Are you troubled by some sin, Pavel? I've encountered many things in my life, but I never before heard a true prophetess speaking. And you're right. It came to me that it was time for me to make amends for my sin of long ago, and I decided to do some deed for the common good. You speak very eloquently, Pavel, though a bit mysteriously. I'm not sure I understand you. I notice you have an armed escort with you. Henry is my protector, helper, and good friend. Because not everyone in Sassel hears the words of the Virgin with the same piety as you. This may be yet another ray of divine providence. You see, I'm looking for someone with an adventurous but honest soul. Someone who would find some wealth that I lost and donate it all to the deserving in Sassau. Aha! Uh -huh. Henry here could be just the man you need. Is that so, Henry? You won't find a more adventurous soul in these parts. You speak boldly. That pleases me. Johanka, I'd like to thank you kindly for your visit. I don't wish to detain you any longer. If you feel we've said all that needs to be said, I'll leave you and Henry to discuss things alone. So? Johanka is an exceptional person with an important mission, wouldn't you say? I'm glad people see her that way, but I just try and help her as an ordinary friend who's concerned about her. A job like any other, is it? Anyway, what is it you want help with? It's like this. In the last year of Emperor Charles's reign, I came here to Sassau to close a profitable deal. But it didn't turn out entirely as planned, and I was obliged to hide some of my money in the woods near the town. Who would even imagine that in the ruins of an old settlement lies a real treasure trove? I tried to go and recover it myself, and I can be glad that I didn't pay for that attempt with my life, as you've probably noticed. Yeah, I've just noticed a few scratches on your face. A merciless battle with a squirrel, was it? The truth is even more absurd. I simply lost my footing and tumbled downhill. No doubt another divine sign that I ought to leave the search to someone such as yourself. I'm not surprised. Merchants in the wilds are rare species, unlike humans. Where is this treasure of yours, then? I could get the dog to sniff it out. I'll describe the way there. You can enter the woods between the quarry and the marshland. You can see the spot from here. There's a small stream that flows into the river. Following it upstream seems simple enough, but actually it took me a long time getting up that slope. As I already said, I tripped and rolled quite a way down, after which I considered it wiser to abandon my search. As if that weren't enough, I lost my hat there. Well, maybe it'll still be there, unless it's been devoured by some boar with good taste in clothing. Hmm, who knows? If you should find it, you're welcome to have it. As you can see, I've already got a new one. 
Anyway, at the point where I fell, there's a forest track that joins the stream. If you follow it closely, and you'll need to keep your eyes peeled, you'll come upon the ruins of a settlement, and in one of those ruins, the money is stashed. Right, quarry, stream, path, ruins. I should be able to remember that. And I should bring the treasure to you. Actually, I'd rather you made the donation for me. I'm in no shape for running around now. Just come back when you've found it, or not. Meanwhile, I'll give some thought to who we shall donate the money to. Agreed? Well, how could I refuse a pleasant stroll in the countryside? I'll be happy to go and look for your stash. You are indeed an adventurous soul, Henry. As I recall, I hid there not only a large amount of groschen, but also something else. Nothing valuable, just a dagger which will be rusty by now. Please bring that to me too, as a memento. Good luck, Henry. And thank you. Can you tell me again precisely where this treasure is? In the woods by Sasau. I can't say quite precisely. It's been a long time since I hid it, and my own attempts at recovering it ended as they did. Most of the way you have to go uphill along the stream that flows into the river next to the Sasau quarry. After a while, you come upon a forest trail that joins with the stream. You're young and agile, so you shouldn't go tumbling head over heels there as I did. Maybe I could go there on horseback. It's not ideal terrain for horse riding. A donkey would be better. Anyway, from there you should follow the trail deeper into the woods. I doubt much has changed there over the years. When you reach a small ruined settlement, you're at the right place. The treasure is hidden in one of the ruined houses. I can't remember which. You'll have to search. Well, couldn't you just donate some other money? It seems peculiar, I admit, but this treasure has more than a monetary value. It's the embodiment of my guilt, as Johanka said. We are those sinners, and we must rebuild those walls. That's why it must be this money, even if it were only one groschen. When you were talking about donating the money for the common good, what did you have in mind? The Virgin Mary chose Sassau as the place to reveal her message, didn't she? You don't have to go any further than the Rathaus or the Church of St. Martin. Both places carry the same weight for me. The important thing is, I know Bailiff Hasek or Father Fabian will handle the donation better than, say, the monastery. Wouldn't you say Johanka's infirmary is working for the common good? Certainly. But its financial affairs are handled by the monastery which has a very poor record in that respect. Then you can go and explain to Johanka and the wounded yourself that they'll suffer on just because you're worried the monastery will build more scaffolding for your money. That's not how I meant it. It's just that, as a Colleen councillor, I had a certain property dispute with the monastery. And you'd let my former Scalit's neighbours and Johanka suffer on because of some personal grudge? Do you really think the overseer would give them nothing when it's his duty? I'd rather the Rathaus or the church had the money. Uh, I suppose you're right. I'll allow a donation to the monastery. Poaching, are we? No. I'm on guard against Kumos here, see? Oh, on the lookout for Kumos, are you? Aye. The whole countryside's full of them. You must have smelt them yourself. <laughs> oh, I can't say I've smelt any Kumos here lately. You haven't got a nose for them. Kumos have a funny smell about them, see? Like a mouldy foot rubbed with blueberries. Is there some abandoned settlement somewhere nearby? Aye. At the end of the trail through the woods. Just follow it and you'll get to this mysterious kind of place. I saw some mercenaries going there not long ago, probably hunting Kumos. That ain't my style there. I'm more of a sneaky fella. I like to spot them at a distance or crouch behind a wall.
What's so mysterious about this place? There's a lot of lairs and dens. Valuables left by ancestors. You only have to put your ear to the ground and listen to the stones, know what I mean? I don't, but I can imagine it. Even the branches whisper sometimes. What, you think you can stand in my path, Boulder? I won't give in that easy. What's happened here? This doesn't look good. in the whole place. The bold knight, Sir Sebastian. I suppose I should tell him about it. Doesn't look good.
Now that's quite a pile. And the dagger is here. A real treasure trove. I'd like to donate quite a large sum to the Sassau Church. Pro bonum commune, eh? Well, I'll be very happy to accept it, and I can even tell you what it would be used for, so you know how the common welfare will benefit. What could I contribute the money to? Well, requiem masses for the dead can shorten the time the departed spend in purgatory, the greater the donation, the more masses I can say, and the more the saints will intercede. Now our house of God is also in need of improvement. Having it decorated would certainly bring credit to the benefactor. It would also be possible to give all the money for poverty relief, so those who are not blessed with property have something to live on. I'd like to contribute to one of the things you suggested. I see. Which will it be? I want to contribute to poverty relief. It will be in the name of Pavel of Colleen. I'm just his messenger. How much are you giving?
This much. I'll hold on to the rest. It's a generous gift. I'm glad not everyone is turning from the true faith just because some woman is making a spectacle on the square. God bless you, lad. Goodbye. <laughs> Now, now. What do you want here? Greetings, good night. How may I serve you? Goodbye. Yeah. Yeah. I did what you asked. I donated the money for the common good. Thank you. Who did you give the money to? I gave everything to the parish priest of St. Martin's. It'll help the church a lot. You know, I'd have done the same thing. Perhaps it'll ease my way through the gates of heaven. Thank you, Henry. And give my thanks to Johanka, too. It was an honor to meet an honorable, selfless man like yourself. God be with you. Farewell, Pavel. God be with you. Yeah. have you been doing? About that burger from Colleen. How did it go? Well, it wasn't at all easy, but in the end I found the treasure and donated it to the Sasau Church. Great. If it had been easy, we wouldn't need you, would we? Uh, uh. What about those thugs? Did they come back again? No, not at all. It's like the ground swallowed them up. But... Henry, something else has happened. Oh? What's that? The Blessed Virgin visited me again, and she gave me a new message, and I must spread the word to the people right away. What did she show you this time? You'll find out when the time is right. You better not go anywhere on your own. I'll accompany you. Thanks. Maybe it would be better to avoid the town and meet somewhere out of the way. There's a meadow near the woods by Sasau. It's not too far. We could go there. That would be wise. All right. We'll set out tomorrow at dawn. In the meanwhile, you can sleep here if you want. I'll find you a bed. If not... Just come at dawn, but don't be late. Oh, I've been running around like the devil is on my heels. I could certainly use some sleep. Don't tempt Satan. Come on then, I'll make up a bed for you and get you something to eat. I can't wait. Goodbye. Did you sleep all right, Henry? Oh, like a log. I haven't slept that well for ages. There. You see how everyone gets well taken care of here. Let's get going, so we're not late. I'm right on your heels.
and she showed me a procession of fine people who had crowns on their heads, dressed in sumptuous cloaks with swords at their sides. But then came demons of hell. Some of the men drew their swords to battle them, but others, others began to embrace the demons. They forgot the law, forgot justice, and only used the people for their own ends. The wretched people could take no more. They stopped obeying their wicked masters and sought refuge with the princes of the just. Then the Virgin Mary came to the wicked ones. At her first step, their rich cloaks burst into flames. At her second, their swords broke into pieces. At her third, the crowns cracked on their heads. And then- Watch out, they're coming, run! Henry, let there be no bloodshed. Get what for? Now I've got you! You'll pay... Johanka, you managed to get away? Yes, yes. They didn't even follow us. I think they just wanted to attack you. And are you alright? They didn't harm you. We defended ourselves, but it cost something. Was anyone hurt? Unfortunately, 
There was no avoiding bloodshed. But that really wasn't... Enough! I'm finally capable of defending myself, so I'm not going to let anyone shove my face in the mud. Why should I be ashamed of that? But Henry... I never thought something like that could happen. It took me by surprise, too. Be careful, Johanka. I don't like the way things are going. I will. Maybe you shouldn't speak so... critically. Someone could take offense in that. I'm only repeating what the Blessed Virgin told me. It's my duty, no matter what the obstacles. Well, if you insist. While we're on the subject, what do you think about what I preached? I don't really know what you were trying to say. All this stuff about demons and people in cloaks. It was very confusing. But that's what Our Lady showed me. All right. But maybe you could have put it in a way people would understand better. Maybe. But most of the time I don't even know myself how to handle it. Ah, you can do it. Thank you. Henry, there's one more thing I'd like to talk to you about. Another sinner came to me looking for help. Would you take care of that? Of course. I'll help you with whatever you need. What's it about this time? This time it's about... you. Me? Everyone sins, Henry. And you're no exception. Mm, I don't know where you're going with this. And I don't like it much. No one is entirely without sin. But we must do penance and make amends. I did a lot of good too, you know. I know, Henry. I'm not condemning you. I'm just saying you should acknowledge your sins and make amends. Yes. I am a sinner. You were chosen by the Virgin Mary. Who am I to deny you? Please, tell me how I can make amends. First you must acknowledge your sins. And from what I've heard, you've been light-fingered. On occasion. What? They say you're a thief, Henry. He'll take anything that isn't nailed down. I'm not some dirty thief, and I'll deal with anyone who goes spreading those lies about me. Quite the contrary. I serve the royal hetman, catching those lousy crooks. I'm glad it's not true. But watch out. Often what people say carries more weight than the truth. And another thing. You have coveted thy neighbor's wife. Oh. She seduced me. It wasn't my fault. Hmm. The Lady of Talmberg ordered me to bring a horse to her and bring wine to her chamber. What could I do? I didn't know what she was after. With that shirt and... And everything. You're saying she forced you? Well, not exactly. But when the Lady of Talmberg offers me a gift, I can hardly refuse. Well, all right. But don't forget, in the end, it's you who are responsible for your own deeds. Uh, I'll remember that. Haven't you ever killed anyone, Henry? Um... All right, I killed that bastard runt, and I'd do it again. For Scalitz, and for everything else he did. Never before did I want to hurt someone so much, and it felt great smashing that evil face of his. And I'm not done yet. I'll find that Mark Vart von Aulitz, and when I'm done with him, even the demons in hell will feel sorry for him. Mary, mother of God! Such rage and hatred! You mustn't... You mustn't let it take control of you. Where there is anger, there is the devil. I'll kill that horseman if it's the last thing I do. God have mercy. And apart from Runt, 
Have you ever... killed someone? You told me about that murderer, but you didn't really have a choice there. But otherwise... Yes, but I was just defending myself, or others. I had no choice. If what you say is true, maybe you'll be forgiven. Henry, killing another human being is no trivial thing. And you did other bad things too. You can't just wave it all away. You have to unburden your soul and repent of all your bad deeds. How? What exactly should I do? You have to undertake a pilgrimage of penance. On the way, you'll have plenty of time to meditate on your sins. Go to Ujits. There's a Marian church there. Put on a penitent's robe and walk barefoot as a sign of humility. Can I just ride there? Certainly not. You have to do penance, not your horse. And will that really relieve my soul? If you do it sincerely and with humility, contemplating your sins, Our Lady will see and bless you. But what if I can't carry the weight of my sins? You've carried it up to now. Yes, because I never had to think about it. Until now. If you find the burden too great, pray and it will be lightened. If you pass a cross or shrine along the way, stop and pray for forgiveness and it will give you the strength to go on. God will help you to bear the weight of any sin that you sincerely repent for in your prayers. For every sin, sincere repentance at each sacred place. For every repentance, absolution. Thank you, Yahanka. I suppose facing up to my sins is really the only thing I can do now. And when you get to Ujits, Pray to the Virgin Mary to intercede with God for forgiveness and mercy. And when you've finished, give a donation to the church. Oh? How much? Give the church 600 groschen. That should do. Don't waste time. Get going right away. I'll expect you back in a week. How should I begin? Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Yeah. Jesus, forgive me for stealing and behaving like a sinful thief. I'm ashamed of myself 
and I won't do it again. From now on, I'll be honest and honorable. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. God Almighty, have mercy on me, and forgive me for committing the terrible sin of taking a life. Grant me mercy, and let me find peace. I beg you. Amen. Yeah! My, this one has seen better days. I ought to tell someone about it. But now, Almighty God, please grant us peace that we may rebuild this little shrine. And maybe Scalitz too. Amen. Yeah! And forgive me, God, for sinning with Lady Stephanie. Amen. Yeah. I should pray for Ma and Pa. Mary, Holy Mother of God, please intercede for my parents. They never did anything wicked. Pray that their souls may find peace in God's kingdom. Amen.
Lord Jesus, I often drank and indulged more than I should have. Please help me overcome my intemperance. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. So, I made it this far. Ave Maria, gratia plena. Mm. I don't know the rest in Latin. But she'll understand my native tongue too, won't she? Holy Mary, Queen of Heaven, merciful Mother, just Virgin, loving, yes, loving and, uh, and forgiving. Please look down on me and hear me, a great sinner. I want to say sorry and repent, to do penance for, for being such a villain and for all the terrible things I did. I have sinned terribly. I killed a man, runt. He was a criminal and a murderer, and he, he deserved it. But I shouldn't have killed him. Even though he deserved it. It's not for me to judge and punish others. It was a sin, committed in anger, and it burdens my soul. Please forgive me, and let me make amends. And I killed other people too. Oh, merciful Mother of God. Sometimes righteously, sometimes I had to, but sometimes I was simply overcome by anger and... Oh, please forgive me. And I did all sorts of wicked deeds. I lied and, and stole and behaved like a villain and a thug. I'm truly sorry for my deeds, and I promise I won't do them again. And I'll make a donation to the church to make amends for everything. And I have fornicated. I'm ashamed of it. But I'll be more virtuous from now on, I promise. Well, as I said, I have sinned. But at heart, I'm not a bad person. I know I failed in some of the trials you sent me, but please... Give me a chance to make amends. I beg your forgiveness, almighty God. Please forgive a humble sinner, as Jesus Christ forgave those who nailed him to the cross. Mother of God, intercede with God for the souls of my parents and let them find mercy in the kingdom of heaven. They were honest people who didn't deserve what happened to them. And I promise I'll be virtuous, the most virtuous of men, so as not to bring shame to their memory. Amen.
God be with you. I want to make a donation to the church as a token of repentance for the things I did wrong. Here you are. And I gladly accept your offering, my son. I'll pray for your forgiveness. But I'm curious, how come you got so devout all of a sudden? Has something happened? Johanka sent me to do penance to the Virgin Mary and make a donation to her church. Johanka? Yes, Father. It's, uh, it's a long story. Not to worry, lad. I had to listen to a lot of long stories at the university in Prague. Each of the masters tried to speak longer than the others so as not to appear less learned. I can handle it, believe me. All right. If you like. Johanka is a girl from Skalitz. I've known her since, well, all my life. But recently, some, um, peculiar things have been going on. Haven't they everywhere? These are dark times. No, wait, though. This is something different. The Virgin Mary has been appearing to Johanka. What? Are you serious? Yes. Our Lady visits her in her dreams and shows her... Well, I don't know what. Johanka says the Virgin tells her some... some words of wisdom and wants her to pass them on to the people. Good Lord. What does she show her? Tell me. Well, once she preached to the people about how we were all sinners and must repent. Otherwise, beasts of hell would come for us and rip us to pieces. Something like that. But if we're virtuous... Our Lady will drive the beasts away and save us. Of course, when Johanka speaks, it sounds a lot better, really. She speaks completely differently than she usually does. Like, well, like some kind of angel. Damn. That sounds very... Uh, I don't know, Henry. You wouldn't be making it up by any chance. No. I swear by the Blessed Virgin, it's all true. I was there myself. I see. Hmm. Well, that is really extraordinary. And what do the people think of all this? Well, the people of Sasau go to listen to her. Well, some of them. That's interesting. Very interesting indeed. The masters of Prague ought to hear this. Some might even agree. And what about you, Henry? What do you think of it? Me? I... I really don't know what to make of it. But your hanker would never lie. And what do you think? You're a learned man. It's hard to say. Maybe I should go to Sasau and see for myself. Thank you for telling me, lad. One thing is certain, though. There are interesting times ahead. That you can be sure of. Interesting. In a good way or a bad way? That's in God's hands, son. Hmm. <sighs> what isn't? Farewell, father. Wait a moment. You came here the whole way from Sasso on foot? I did. I made a pilgrimage of penance. I stopped to pray at every shrine and cross along the way. By the way, that shrine before Talmberg, by the path from Sasso, I don't know what happened to it, but someone should see to getting it fixed. You noticed, eh? Yes, I know about that. It's just that there hasn't been the means to get it fixed, see? It just occurred to me, this affair with Johanka reminds me of a manuscript I made a copy of once. You might find it interesting. If you want, you can come with me and I'll find it for you. Or stop by the Presbytery later. All right, Father. Thanks. See you later. Could I have put it? I knew it was a mistake to put it in a safe place. Ah, here it is. About that manuscript, Father. Ah, excellent. Look, I found it. Copied excerpts from the work of Magister Parisiensis. And what use will that be to me? I can't say, but it came to mind when you were talking about Johanka. 
because Matthew wrote about similar things, about women who had visions and the like. I've got a copy here. I'll lend it to you if you promise to bring it back. You do know how to read, don't you? Of course I do. By Christ, lad, you're a regular scholar. Here you are, then. I'm sure it's in good hands. You can bring it back to me when you're passing again. Ah, all right, thanks. You're welcome, lad. Now run along and don't keep your honka waiting. <laughs>